Hi, this is Crystal from Crystallized Designs, and today I'm going to show you how to make the Crayon Water Bottle Koozie. This was a very, very fun project to design, to make several of them, to give away. I gave all my neighborhood kids each um, the choice of colors, and then my kids both each got one. And I, I really enjoyed making this, and I hope this video is helpful to you if you need more of a visual reference when crocheting. So first of all, you need a color worsted yarn. I used the Crayola Cake Yarn. I really liked the colors. The name really fit with this design, and I've been wanting to design the Cran Water Bottle Koozie for over a year, and then when Line Brand came out with their Crayola yarn, I knew I had to create this project, and it just so happened that it was done for a back-to-school crochet along. So you'll need a colored worsted yarn. You do not you need to use this yarn. Then you'll need black yarn, just a small amount. I have mine pre-cut. You'll need four yards for the oval, which we'll get sewn on later, so I'm gonna set that aside. Then you'll need six yards for the top two stripes and six yards for the bottom two stripes. I'm gonna set those aside for right now. You'll need a yarn needle and a scissors. You also need an H hook or a hook to match gauge. If you don't like living dangerously, you will need a stitch marker. I have small children in the house and I easily lose my count and easily get distracted, so I definitely use one of these. You do not have to. So let's go ahead and start with the pattern. I'm gonna kinda just rearrange my area here a little better. So the first thing you're wanna, gonna wanna do is create a magic circle with your colored yarn. And you're gonna chain one, and then work four, or I'm sorry, excuse me, 10 half double crochets into the magic circle. Three, four, five, whoops, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. You're gonna to wanna to close your magic circle. And now we're not joining. This is where we're going to crochet into the first stitch, but instead of joining, we're gonna work around continuously so we don't have a seam. So you can either mark with your stitch marker the last stitch or the first stitch of the new round. I always do the first stitch of the new round, so I'm gonna work the first stitch in there, and I'm going to put my stitch marker in there. So instead of joining, we're working around continuously. Any stitch marker will work. You could use scrap yarn or a safety pen. So round two is you're gonna work two half double crochets into each stitch to total 20 stitches. So there's two in my first one and I'm just gonna quickly work two half double crochets into each stitch around and you can kind of see the Crayola yarn does slightly change color as it goes. You can definitely use a solid color as well. So when you get to the end of that round, again, we're not gonna join. So now round two is complete with 20 stitches. For round three, I'm gonna just remove the stitch marker. For round three, I'm gonna work half double crochet into one. Mark that first stitch. Half, two half double crochet into the next. And then I'm gonna continuously go around with half double crochet one and then two half double crochet in the next. So one and two. One and two. Whoops. Oops. Once this round has been completed, you should have 30 stitches. Alright, 
coming to the end of round three. I'm going to remove my stitch marker. So now for round four, I'm going to, this is the bottom of the crayon. So I want to work the next stitch. It's still the first stitch, a single crochet into the next. And I'm going to slip stitch into the next. And that's finishing the round. So that makes it more of a circle and not have a weird edge right there. So that's what that is all about. So now I'm going to keep my stitch marker off to the side because I'm not going to use that for round four. I'm going to chain one and I'm going to half double crochet into the back loop of each stitch all the way around. So I'm working just in the back loop, not into the front loop. Whoops. And that's creating a little ridge for the bottom of the crayon. As you can see, the ridge starting right there. And I'm not going to join this round. I should still have 30 stitches when I complete it. Alright, so we're not going to join like we normally would, but that is the bottom. You can see the ridge going all the way around and it also kind of forces the stitches to go up. So this is the bottom of the crayon, like so. Okay, so for round five, we're just going to half double crochet in each stitch around. And again, we're not going to join, so I'm going to work the first half double crochet in the first stitch and I'm going to mark that stitch. And then I'm going to work my way around, whoops, the entire piece. All right, so I'm at the end of round five. And this is where we're going to join just to keep the color changes even. So in six, I'm going to remove my stitch marker in round six. Again, it kind of, it kind of dips right there. So I don't want that dip. I want it to be more even. So I'm going to single crochet into the next one. And I'm going to slip stitch into the next one, but I'm going to join my black yarn to create the bottom two stripes. So I'm joining. All right, so I have my black yarn join. I'm gonna chain one, and I'm gonna half double crochet into the same and all 29 stitches around. So I have a single crochet here, so it's not all the half double crochets that I'm gonna crochet around. I'm gonna crochet into that single crochet as well. So, I'm going to half double crochet. I like to work over my tails and then leave a little bit so I can weave in my ends. This is slightly thicker yarn. I don't know if you can see that on camera. All right, so here's that single crochet. Oh, no, half double crochet. And now the single crochet, we are gonna work into that as well. So now that is my, I'm gonna get this out of the way here. That is my 30 half double crochets in black. I'm gonna join to the first half double crochet that I made, and I'm gonna switch to co the colored yarn. So I'm gonna pull the colored yarn through. I'm gonna snug that up and I'm going to chain one and I'm going to single crochet into that one and each stitch around. So this round it's just single crocheting. 
just to have a smaller colored stripe in between the black. All right, we are done with the colored round for round seven. So we are going to join and we're gonna to change to the black again. So pull the black through, pull it tight. The tighter you pull, the more even your rows are gonna be. So we're gonna chain one and we're gonna half double crochet into the same and each stitch around. If I measured right, I will not run out of yarn. I will have a little bit extra. All right, so round eight is done. We're gonna join to the first half double crochet again and we're gonna change to the colored yarn. So I'm gonna get this out of the way. I ended with a little bit left over. And I'm going to join in my red, my colored yarn. So now we could finish this black off a little bit so we don't have as much. So I'm just gonna trim it up a little and get rid of that black. So now we're going to be back to working continuously. So this is where you want your stitch marker for that. And for row nine, we're just going to chain one and half double crochet around. And we're going to continuously going around for 16 rounds. So let's start that. And again, this is row nine. We're going to half double crochet around through just like this continuously around using our stitch marker through row round 16. Okay, so we're just finishing up the half double crochet round of round 16. And as you can see, I'm coming around to the end here where my stitch marker is. I will show you where the joins on the black stripes are compared to where the end is now. So that's my last stitch. And you can see my joins are right here, but I ended here. So this is kind of why you want to use a stitch marker because I'm gonna have the next black rounds match up with this these joins. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove our stitch marker and now round 17 we're going to half double crochet in the next six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's bringing us closer to them joins. Then we're going to single crochet in the next and then we're gonna slip stitch into the next, changing to the black yarn. So I have my black yarn here. I'm going to pull that through. And we're gonna be making the first black stripe on the top. So for round 17, we're gonna chain one and we're gonna half double crochet. And again, I like to crochet over my tails in each stitch around. I kind of want to get my color out of here. So we're going to move that over there. I got my stitch marker set aside. I'm going to work half double crochets entirely around. And I'm going to give a little bit of a black tail just so I can weave that in a little bit better. At the end of this pattern, you're going to want to go through and weave in all the ends. You're also going to want to secure the beginning tail for the magic circle. And this, by doing those first six half double crochet, the single crochet, and then slip stitching, is going to bring 
the joins for the black yarn fairly even. We're almost around. Almost. I'm going to work into the single crochet. So I will be joining. I'm going to get the black yarn out of the way. I'm going to for round um, for the end of round 17, we're going to half double crochet in each stitch around, and then we're going to change to the color yarn. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to pull my ends tight, and as you can see, here's my um, joins for the black, and here's my joins. So otherwise my joins would have been way over here, and I kind of wanted them to be fairly even. So for round 18 now, we're going to chain one, and we're going to single crochet completely around. For round 18, we are going to join to the first single crochet, and we're going to actually not pull up our colored yarn, but we're going to work the second round of black. So I joined with my black yarn. So round 19 now, we're going to chain one, and we're going to half double crochet into each stitch around. Alright, so the last stitch of that round, we are going to join this just so the, covers, the colors are even, and we're going to change to our color yarn. Pick that up, I'm going to move that to my left. So I'm joining, I'm pulling the ends tight just to keep that even. Again, I have a little bit left over here, I'm going to... Trim that and get rid of that. I'm going to shove that in the koozie just so it's out of my way. So we have completed all of our black. Our joins are fairly even. And we're going to go on to round 20. So we're going to half double crochet in each stitch around. All of these rounds should have 30 stitches in it. Again, we're on round 20. We are nearing the tip of the crayon. If um, you're creating one along with me, I would love to see any projects that you create. You can tag me on any social media. Facebook, Instagram. I'd love it for you to pin this project. I would love to have you
already subscribed to the YouTube channel. I will definitely be doing more video tutorials coming up in the future. All right, so round 20. We are completing round 20. So this is again where we're not going to join. For round 21, we're gonna have double crochet around again. And for the first stitch, I'm going to mark the first stitch of the round. You can mark the last stitch of the round. You could live dangerously and not mark any stitches. All right, so I'm working round 21. Half double crochet into each stitch around. And 21 is complete. So this is kind of where it gets a little bit confusing. We have the base of our water bottle koozie and we're going to start to work in rows to create the tip of the water bottle. So for round 21, we're going to remove the stitch marker. We're going to single crochet into this stitch, the next stitch. We're going to slip stitch into the next and we're still using our colored yarn. Now we're going to chain one and back post half double crochet. So to post double crochet, you're going to work around the post, but this is front. So we're going to go through the back and we're back post half double crocheting. So it creates this lip here a little bit more so than the back loop. So we are going to do that in 25, I'm sorry, 26 stitches. So in the same one plus 25 additional stitches for a total of 26. This will leave us with four stitches not worked. So you can see the four stitches. I'm gonna just double count, make sure I got 26 total. All right, so we have round 22 complete with all of our back post half double crochets completed. We have four stitches not worked. We're gonna leave those empty to attach the scribble stamp strap later on. So for row one of the tip of the crayon, you're going to chain one and turn. You're going to half double crochet into the same and the next 21 stitches. Alright, so 
So we have 21 stitches and we have four stitches left over. We're going to work two half double crochet two together. So we're going to decrease them over the next four stitches. Sorry if you can hear my little one. I'm trying to get him to bed. He does not want to go to bed though. Okay, so I've worked a de two decreases. So that is a total of 24 stitches for row one of the tip of the crayon. For the next row, you're gonna work in between the stitches. So you can kind of see here the ridge that's created on the wrong side of the fabric. And I didn't want that ridge on the right side of the fabric. So for the next row, for row two, you're gonna chain one and turn, and then instead of working into the top two loops, you're gonna work in between the stitches. So what we're gonna do is we've chained one, we've turned, and then working in the same, we're gonna work two half double crochets over the next four stitches. So one half double crochet, two together, and two and then for the next 16 we're going to half double crochet all right the 16 is complete and we have four stitches here we're going to create our buttonhole by chaining two we're going to skip two and then we're gonna half double crochet into the last two stitches. Um, I did forget to say in the beginning that you will need a button. I've gone ahead and picked a white button just for um, the visual purpose of showing you how to attach that. You can use any color. You can, um, again, it can be three fourths to one inch and that will go there eventually. So row two is complete. We have 20 stitches. The stitches, uh, the chain, the two chains do not count in the stitch count. For row three, we're gonna chain one and turn. We're gonna single crochet in the same and the next. We're gonna work two single crochets in this chain two space. And then we're gonna work 17 additional single crochets. Okay, 17 single crochets. Okay, so I have the 17 single crochets here. Now there's one stitch left. I'm gonna work three, whoops, three single crochets into that last stitch. Oops, whoops, all right. Now I'm gonna turn my piece so I'm working down this raw edge. This is the side without the buttonhole. And we're gonna make a little tab here to add our button on. So working down the raw edge, we're gonna single crochet four. And it doesn't need to be in any place specifically, just four even single crochets down to the bottom. Now the last four, this is creating the button tab. For row four, we're gonna not chain one, we're just gonna turn. We're not gonna work into that first single crochet. That's gonna count as our chain one. So we're gonna four single crochet into the next four stitches. So there's that. We're gonna chain one for row five and turn. And we're gonna work in another four single crochets. And that leaves us with a little extra piece right there that we're gonna add a button on. Let's finish this off, pull this through. So I'm not gonna go ahead and sew my button on because you guys know how to sew a button on. We're gonna sew a button right on that tab. And then when we close it, we're gonna pull our button through that tab. You can also add 
we'll be adding our strap to these empty four stitches right here. You can either close with the strap hanging out or you can put the strap inside and close it with the strap on the inside. And I'll show you it better later in the tutorial. But that is how to create the tip of the crayon. There's the front and the back. So go ahead and weave in ends, add your button, and that's the tip of the crayon. The oval is easy to make. We're going to put a slip knot. This is my four yards of pre-cut black yarn. We're going to chain three. Starting in the second chain from your hook, we're going to work two single crochet. So we have a total of two stitches on row one of the oval. We're going to chain one and turn. We're going to chain or we're going to single crochet two into each stitch to bring us up to a total of four stitches. Chain one and turn for row three through six. We're just going to turn and single crochet into each stitch across. That's row three, row four, chain one and turn. Chain one and turn for row five. Chain one and turn for row six. All right, for row seven, we're gonna chain one and turn, and we're just gonna single crochet two together twice, bringing us down to two stitches. All right, so now we're gonna work along the edge just to make these raw edges look a little neater before we sew it on our water bottle. So we're gonna chain one and turn. We're gonna single crochet into the two stitches then we're going to work six single crochet down the raw edge to the beginning chain. And again, it can be evenly two, three, four, five, six. So now we're to the beginning chain. What we're going to do is work a single crochet into each of the beginning chains. You can work over your tail. So two. So I'm just going to, as I'm working down this raw edge, I'm just going to single crochet that tail in. Now we're working down the opposite raw edge. We're going to work again six single crochets across the raw edge. And that brings us back right here. I know black is really, really hard to see. That is our first um, single crochet. We're just going to join and go ahead and finish off. I have a little bit longer tail here and that is okay. Um, go ahead and weave this in. I'm just gonna snip this off for, I can weave it in better, but for the purpose of this. So what we're gonna do is this is our koozie before the strap is attached. Um, you can either weave this in and use new yarn to sew this on, or you can use this longer tail to sew it on here. And that is the oval. And go ahead and sew your piece on, and then that is all for that. All right, we are onto the scribble strap of the water bottle koozie for the crayon. There are three different lengths for this koozie. Short, which you chain 
81, medium which you cha chain 121, and crossbody which you chain 161. You can increase um, the length of the straps. This is made for children, so if you want to go ahead and make one for yourself or a larger um, strap for a child, go ahead and increase increments by eight. So I would take the largest, the crossbody, 161, and add eight to that if you want it just slightly longer and continue to add eight um, to your desired length. I've gone ahead and I've chained a short strap, which is 81 chains. And for row one, we're gonna start in the second chain and we're gonna work three half double crochets into that second chain. Then we're gonna half double crochet over the next two chains. Now, whoops, now is when we start the repeat of the pattern. We're gonna half double crochet three together. We're gonna half double crochet in the next two chains. We're gonna work three half double crochets into the next chain. We're gonna half double crochet in the next two chains. And that is the end of our repeat. We're gonna continue that all the way across. So we're gonna work three half double crochets, whoops. I'm sorry, half double crochet three together, half double crochet in the next two, work three half double crochets in the next chain, half double crochet two, and again work that repeat. So I'm going to go ahead and work that little scribble all the way across. So the next one is the half double crochet three together. And we are just gonna go all the way to the end. All right, so we have our first row and it makes this real nice wave. Now, if you're making a large one and you happen to be um, doing something every now and then, I caught myself, if I wasn't paying attention, I'd do two dips and it would get a little wonky. So make sure you got a real nice funky scribble going on. Then for row two, you're gonna chain one and turn. You're gonna half double crochet in the same and then you're gonna work half double crochet or you're gonna half double crochet three together. You're gonna half double crochet in the next two. You're gonna work three half double crochets into the next stitch, and it's a little bit easier going on row two. Half double crochet next two. Half double crochet three together. Half double crochet two. Three half double crochet in the next. And we're just going to keep going all the way across this way just to create the strap just to be a little bit thicker. So if you have a full water bottle, it's not really pulling or stretching as much. It's not pulling on your shoulder or the child's shoulder. And we're just going to continue going all the way across. All right, we're working the last three half double crochet into the second to last stitch. And then in the last stitch, we're just gonna half double crochet. And I like to leave a long tail because then I can use that tail to weave in 
my strap. So I've already kind of done that, but this is what the strap look, look, looks like. So it's definitely thicker. It's two rows definitely makes it thicker and um, definitely makes it more sturdy. So I've gone ahead and created two straps and I've sewn a strap onto my, my koozie already. Now keep in mind that my ends are not woven in and I did not weave in my oval. So we're going to set that aside. But for the four unworked stitches, that is where I, and I still have my ends hanging out here. I just kind of tuck them in. So I sewn the strap to those two or four unworked stitches. So when I put the water bottle in here, I can either close it with the strap on the inside like so and this keeps the water bottle or the strap hanging the water bottle straight up and down or I do my button here again don't mind my tails I'm trying to keep them tucked in if I have the strap out it kind of hangs at an angle you can't really see it but it kind of hangs like that so there's definitely two ways that you can have the strap. I personally like my strap in. And yes, I do own my own crayon water bottle koozie with a scribble strap. Um, mine is in blue though. And this is the second red one I've made and this is what is left from the line brand crayon or Crayola cake yarn. So you can definitely get two koozies out of one ball of the cake line brand Crayola cake and if you do alter your strap length that might change the yardage um, and you might not be able to fit two out of one cake but going by the pattern with large straps crossbody straps you can make two crayons so I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial please subscribe and follow me for more awesome tutorials and I hope you really enjoyed this one Thanks. Bye.